in the paper, uh, CHI investigators published uh, in 2015 in a prestigious uh, endocrinology journal, uh, we demonstrated that in older women, and by that I mean women with mean age of 44 and with all being above age 43, in those women, early egg retrieval doubled pregnancy chances. And this is, of course, remarkable because uh, pregnancy chances in such women at our center uh, are already quite good, again, considering their very advanced ages. Those pregnancy chances usually run uh, at roughly 7 to 10 percent live birth chances, indeed, in that patient population. Uh, over the last few years at CHR have been steady around 7%. With early retrieval, uh, those uh, chances almost doubled. We start treating these patients not only once they enter the IVF cycle, as most other IVF centers do, but long before that. Uh, we learned a number of years ago that ovaries of older patients need to be prepared so that by the time they enter an IVF cycle, they can maximally perform. And this preparation at our center uh, means that we are trying to raise the androgen levels of these patients because it is now very well known and established through many basic science study that uh, the intraovarian testosterone levels are of crucial importance for normal follicle growth. An older woman usually has low testosterone levels and therefore they need to be raised before, weeks to months before the patient starts her IVF cycle so that those follicles that over those weeks and months have been maturing uh, are exposed to an ovarian environment with appropriate testosterone levels. We also prepare during this uh, time period patients with uh, CoQ10, uh, which is an enzyme, which is an antioxidant, and the purpose of CoQ10 is again, to maximize egg quality. But that is not all of it. Once we stimulate the patient in her IVF cycle, she gets stimulations that are very different from the kind of stimulation younger women receive. Uh, we, for example, do not that give them anything that could suppress their ovaries. No birth control pills, no agonists, no antagonists. The patient starts stimulating straight on the second day of the period with any of those uh, agents given in parallel. And the reason we can do that is uh, because we learned over the last few years and published that uh, older women need to be retrieved early. In other words, their eggs have to be removed from their follicles uh, at earlier stages than in younger women. That means that while in routine IVF cycles in younger women, we, like most of our colleagues, give HCG for ovulation induction at lead follicle sizes of 19 to 22 millimeters, in older ovaries, we have now demonstrated in multiple studies that HCG needs to be given at 16 to 18 millimeters. And while it is important to note that this requires that these patients still are able to produce eggs and embryos, and a significant portion of women at that age will not be able to do that. For those women 
who have the ability to still produce eggs and embryos, it demonstrates that we are steadily improving outcomes and that therefore it is worthwhile giving them the chance of trying to conceive with their own eggs rather than sending them right away uh, into egg donation.